Well, good morning, adventurers, and welcome to Idaho. First things first, we decided to get ourselves a classic baked potato. You know what, guys? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. I thought being in, you know, the potato capital, the potatoes would be just a little bit bigger than this. Well, I don't know, what do you think? We could probably find a bigger potato than this, right? Yeah, this is cute and all, but I am looking for a record-breaking potato. I think we gotta go find one. You guys, we found the mother load. These are some pretty big potatoes. I don't know, this is definitely an improvement. It's pretty close, but I still think we can do better. All right, we might have a contender. That's a big potato. What is this made <laughs> it's out of? It's a heavy potato. It's a bronze potato. It's good, but I still think we can do better. All right, we may have found it. Now that is a freaking huge potato. <laughs> I mean, this one is not too bad. Check it out, it's like double my height. I think we can still do better and bigger. Y'all, I think we've done it. We've officially found the biggest potato in the entire world. Yeah, y'all, this potato definitely puts all the other potatoes to shame. And the best part is you can live in this sucker. Now we just need the world's biggest stick of butter. We need uh, the world's biggest tub of sour cream. And most importantly, we're gonna need a lot of bacon bits. So if you guys have been following along, you know that uh, we've been doing our RV road trip mainly through Montana so far, but we actually just finally made it to Idaho. And while we plan on exploring in the RV in a little bit, we couldn't pass up the chance to stay in a freaking potato, y'all. Yeah, we heard about this potato hotel that is basically a giant potato that you can stay in. When in Idaho, yeah. if you get that opportunity to stay in a potato, you, you better have take to it. do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there it is, you guys. It is literally a giant potato. <laughs> well, that's amazing. I was not expecting it to look so potato-like. <laughs> There's the cow, you guys. What was her name again? Dolly. Dolly. Hi, Miss Dolly. Well, oh look at God. you. She's so much bigger in person. That is a big cow, you guys. Hi. Holy cow. Oh, man. <laughs> Now this is so cool, out front, even if you're not staying here, you can come and feed Dolly. They give you little treats and everything. Is this what you're wanting, Dolly? Yeah! <laughs> She's beautiful! You've got the biggest head in the land. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they actually have this little turnout here and they have a little information post here talking all about the potatoes. So you can come here, you can get your photos, you can feed Dolly. I guess the idea is that it's like the potato is actually growing in the field. It does look like a majestic, huge potato. <laughs> Right? Dolly agrees. You guys, I'm so excited to be here. I cannot wait to see what this potato is like. Well, you guys, this is awesome. The potato is so lifelike. They did such a good job with the painting. And then they have all these like fake greens around here. It looks like it's just coming right up out of the ground. So there's actually a really funny story as to how this potato came to be and came to call this place home. But first, I cannot wait to see what the heck the inside of this potato looks like. You've never seen the inside of a potato before? <laughs> well, I have. I've seen many insides <laughs> of the potato that then became my inside. Okay, all right, let's go inside the potato. <laughs> Oh my word, y'all. <laughs> well, I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think this was it. This was not it. <laughs> this is so much fancier than I ever thought the inside of a potato would be. It's like a little cave dwelling or something. I was halfway expecting it to smell like a potato for some reason. Yeah, I guess you'd think maybe because it's a potato and on a farm, it could be really cheesy in here, but y'all, this yeah. is super fancy and classy. Well, the first thing I noticed is the floors. I love this hardwood pattern, huh? Look, they just use these little triangles and put them all together to make all these shapes. We might have to be borrowing that. That's a cool idea. And then the next thing you notice is the walls. It actually looks like the inside of a baked potato, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it does. It looks like a white potato on the inside. I think it's foam, sprayed foam or plaster. Oh, it's, huh. it's almost like hollow sounding, and but it's hard. Yeah. Not as hard as, I thought it'd be like concrete kind of. But y'all, the insulation must be great because it is super warm and toasty in here. And from what we can see, this is the only heating source. Yeah, and I it guess is, it's a pretty small area. It is. Okay, the potato definitely is bigger on the inside than the <laughs> outside. Is, All right, well, I already love the bed nook. This is so cool. They've got like a queen size bed in here, little cutouts with little tchotchkes in there. 
I love a floating bed, although sometimes you bang your shins. But that's okay, that's the price you pay for a cool bed. Check out the antler I, chandelier, huh? I just noticed that. Wow, that's really well done, it's very classy. I can see us having some sweet dreams in this area. Sweet dreams of potatoes? Potatoes, mashed potatoes, tater tots, that's what I'm gonna dream of for sure. <laughs> It's a very cohesive color palette, don't you think? It's mm -hmm. like a nice subtle pink, white, you know? Yeah, like a blush color, but it's a uh, very clean, very modern. There's no TV, no Wi-Fi out here, but they give you a record player with quite the record selection, it looks like. I guess we can turn it this way for a second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's more! There is the cutest little kitchenette, if you can even call it that. They've got the tiniest refrigerator, a little sink, and then a kettle. Then they just have another nook over here that has all these cups and things. Some more records hidden down there. A fire extinguisher for in case someone actually tries to bake this potato. <laughs> I <laughs> hope like that, that they one? do not. <laughs> yes, that was a good one. seeing these little Idaho spuds. Is it a candy bar made out of potatoes? Please tell me that it is. I don't know. Are those pictures of potato? I don't even know what those pictures are on the thing. Uh, but it says, the candy bar that makes Idaho famous. I have never heard of this. I can't believe there's candy I've never heard of. It says copyright 1931, so it's been around for a long time. Coconut, ugh. All right, you're gonna have to try this one. I do not like coconut in this form. <laughs> is it that it just looks like a little potato? Does it even look like I a potato? Maybe like so. a, a rancid potato? <laughs> it's very coconutty, confirmed. But is it oh. potato-y? What about this is a, a spud? I oh, don't it's like nougat. <laughs> well, the inside is absolutely delicious. Definitely could do without the coconut. But it's nice and like toasted on the outside. Anyone watching from Idaho, tell us, what does this have to do with potatoes? <laughs> this potato does not come with Wi-Fi. But why would a potato have Wi-Fi anyway, right? That is true, good why, point. Why would a potato have a TV? Why would it have a stove? I don't know. It would definitely have a record player though. That's yes, that makes sense. They would have. But you're actually only about 30 minutes or so from Boise and you're also maybe five, 10 minutes away from some local diner truck stop thing that we drove by that we might have to go to tonight because it looked very authentic. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you're really just out in the middle of farmland, which is appropriate considering you're in a giant potato, but you get a lot of the space for yourself. There's a little picnic area outside. So there's a lot of places to chill on the grounds. I'm really curious what the outside is made of. So you can see there's a bunch of different like marks where it's cracked and weathered. It's kind of got some wear and tear up on the top there i guess where the you know the bulk of the weather is hitting it <laughs> well i think it's made of the same thing through and through i oh. think it's just like foamy plaster stuff it, it feels a little harder on the outside it almost feels like a potato though <laughs> don't you think <laughs> <laughs> i want to stick a fork in it and see if it's done <laughs> so you guys might have noticed that the potato was missing one very important thing a bathroom but have no fear there is one on site right over here. So it might just look like an old farm silo from the outside, but it is actually super swanky on the inside. Did you guys expect this grain silo bathroom to be this nice? It's like we stepped into a freaking spa, you guys. Look at this tub. <laughs> This is one of the most classy wash tub, no, the most classy wash tub, bath tub that I've ever seen in my life. Over here is a little like toilet vanity nook. It's kind of all mixed into one. They've got all this greenery all over the place. So it feels really organic and spa-like. There's a little heater down here too. So it is nice and toasty in here. Check out this shower, you guys. <laughs> this whole quadrant over here is a shower. This place <laughs> is wild. Yeah, it's huge. Man, it's super classy too. Like they have this little rock feature here. They've got the brick on the floor here. I do feel like I have been transported into a spa. And I think these are all little bath salts oh, that yeah. you can add to oh, your tub. Of them, real. Oh my God. I guess you're not a bath salt kind of guy. No, I'm not. Yes. Somebody stopped to check out the potato. They said that happens from time to time because it's on the map. So people come here to feed little Miss Dolly and to take in the views but only we get to go back behind the fence. <laughs> yeah, so it's funny. So while you're staying here, people just pull up here and take photos. <laughs> so it can be a little awkward, but it's a giant potato. What do you expect? I mean, <laughs> if I weren't staying here, I would come for the photos as well. Y'all, we warned you this video was gonna be all about potatoes and we're making good on that promise. We're getting out of our potato and coming <laughs> to the Idaho Potato Museum. Complete with almost the world's largest potato. Yeah. I think we're in the world's largest potato. <laughs> Thank you.
Apparently this is the largest potato crisp ever created. <laughs> Looks delicious. It's a giant Pringle. <laughs> oh my god, look how proud they are. <laughs> I was wondering where the Mr. Potato Heads were gonna be. Holy cow, they got a whole bucket of them. When they first made Mr. Potato Head, they actually sold it just with these little plastic pieces. And the idea was you take a real potato and you stick these in, you draw a face on it, and he becomes your little doll. But the problem was they would rot away, they would start stinking really bad. And eventually they were like, okay, we need an actual plastic potato. <laughs> and that's how the potato, that's how the Mr. Potato Head that you know and love came to be. This is <laughs> a really pathetic one. There's no potato I can't slice. This photo is called Pretty Girls Posing with Extra Large Potatoes in about 1943. You think I could have had a job back then? Posing with a potato? A, could I be a pretty girl with a potato? Definitely. <laughs> this is really cool. Nearly all the potatoes grown in Idaho are the russet Burbank variety, and they originated from a single seed ball that this guy discovered growing in a New England garden in 1872. So it all came from one. <laughs> Could you imagine if we hadn't found that? What would Idaho be today? <laughs> all right, we have officially conquered the Potato Museum, learned everything and more than we ever wanted to know about <laughs> potatoes. And of course, at the end, they have a cafe serving baked potatoes and potato soup and potato chips and potato cupcakes. But we went with the Idahoan variety. You can get all sorts of different toppings on there, but this one has butter, cheese, bacon bits, and sour cream on there. All right, this is my first ever potato in Idaho. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna taste any different than the thousands of potatoes we've eaten in other states. I think it will. Man, this is messy already, geez. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got the sour cream, we got some bacon bits on there, a little bit of cheese. I think that'll do it. <laughs> It does have some of that like special Idaho flavor. I, it tastes like Idaho. No, it just tastes like a regular baked potato, you guys. It's delicious, as you would expect. I was 100% in the mood for this because the minute you walk in, the smell of potatoes is in the air. I just wanted chips, I wanted a baked potato, I just wanted something. We are going to devour this potato and then we are going to see you guys back at our potato. Good. This is officially the most adorable thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, I love Dolly and I think she loves me now. Hi, what's up? So, we promised to tell you the story of this silly little spud back here. Apparently... <laughs> <laughs> Come was, on, we're talking here. No, we're trying to do a little segment. She's like, I'm trying to do something too. So apparently this potato was built to celebrate the Idaho Potato Commission's 75th anniversary and it went on the famous Idaho potato tour. And this thing was actually strapped onto a truck and driven all around the country for years for people to just come inside of it and enjoy it and learn more about Idaho. <laughs> and the lady who owns it now was actually one of the people that was on the road with the potato. And once the tour was over, they let her have it and she turned it into this epic Airbnb. <laughs> You're just <laughs> in heaven, huh? They have a handy little info board and it says that the potato traveled 175,000 miles all over the USA. It also says if this were a real potato, it would have taken 10,000 years to grow. It would take two years and nine months to actually bake it and it would make over 100,000 french fries. <laughs> that would about do it for the rest of my life, right? Maybe? That's probably how many you've eaten in your life already. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, now I want french fries. Oh my gosh, you guys. It started snowing last night. Not quite a winter wonderland, but it's a little chilly and nasty actually. <laughs> but we had an amazing night in our little potato. It is so cozy in there and it is confirmed like a cave when you're sleeping. We woke up and had no clue what time it was and I opened the door to this. It was like super bright snow everywhere. I had no idea. But we are just getting... Okay, ready? Where, where are we going with that? Okay, getting started. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting, my mouth is just getting started. We're just getting started with Idaho though. We have tons more adventures coming at you. Maybe a few less potatoes, maybe more, who <laughs> know? <laughs> but I guess that's our cue to get on the road. Oops, I said your line. Yeah. So goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.